Hello Zoo Tycoon fans! Today's video offers up a double dose of nostalgia. Our zoo is based on a vintage map from 1977 of the Smithsonian's National Zoo in Washington, D.C. The zoo map is courtesy of the Library of Congress Archives. First, the main trail went in along with a few test exhibits. At this point, I realized that the small grass map was too small, but I made it work with a few adjustments and compromises, adding more exhibits and animal houses along the way. Dorcas gazelles are more rare than the Thompson's gazelle, but they will do. The Thompson's gazelle can happily share an exhibit with the zebras, while the warthogs and wildebeest have to make some compromises on dirt and foliage. They reached about a 70 to 80 percent happiness together. I named the giant pandas Ling Ling and Sing Sing. They were the ones at the zoo throughout the 70s to the 90s. This area took more space than the, the actual zoo. These exhibits are luxurious compared to what I recall about the zoo in real life. There are more animals in this part of the zoo because they are mostly small mammals kept in houses rather than outdoor exhibits. The notable exception were the golden lion tamarins who eventually got an in-zoo free-range habitat. I remember them scurrying around overhead on ropes but never leaving the actual park. I also remember the call of the howler monkeys which could be heard from any location in the park. Polar bear always seemed miserable in the hazy, hot, and humid D.C. summers. He was probably happy in the winters, though. Sit back and enjoy a quick run through of all the exhibits now that the guest services are in place. Notice that there is in fact only one true restaurant. In real life, it was located at the exact opposite end of the park from the main entrance. Guests had to be satisfied with water fountains, ice cream, popcorn carts, and drink machines. 